Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the ADC series in which we're playing now the Desperados. We are a uh, intermediately developed nation, at least technologically. We have no power armor, we have no robotics, but that's definitely not going to hinder us. But what we do have is the Wild One. He's a master in a st steed. He's got extra, a little bit extra, motorized attack and better vehicle production costs. And we do have five of these divisions, which are only 12 combat width right now, with demo support, as well as infantry has only 16 combat width, but also with demo support. So, but we're right now at war with Lysian. We are going to war with, or we are currently at in a war with Gator Maws, which are, well, they're Gator Maws. Hopefully we can do well against them. My god, if we can't, I'm going to be raging off screen, or maybe on screen. You never know. Um, but hopefully they can't pierce us, and we can blow them up, and we can just kind of roll around and uh, destroy them that way. They have quite a few militia divisions, which is fine with us. We have no manpower, but that's absolutely normal. And we're doing status, and we're going to keep our elite support, or our elite uh, group in power. And we'll go preparing for total war, because we need that population immediately, as well as draconian recovery methods, which hurts multi population, but plus 20% division recovery rate. Now that's pretty nice. Ooh, that actually went down a little bit. Not ideal, but we are going to grind it out as hard as we can um, to make sure that we do okay here. But we do have ooh, an intel advantage. Very nice. Military drills, of course. And we are, do want more population, so we're going to get some enclosure. We're also using Old World Blues, of course. Old World Blues Radio. Old World Blues Tech Expanded. And we are using a Fast Justification War Mod as well. My god, do we need more population or what? The four divisions there. Honestly, a Technic here might be a better choice. But we're going to keep it going for now. But let you know that we're doing that. A thousand manpower left, up to five divisions. Uh, we're slowly getting there. We get about 1.42 political power every single day, which is nice. Um, and construction, whatnot. Uh, we probably want to go to every man for the army. Or every cap for the army. But we need more than 60% world tension, which we're pretty close. We actually might want to wait to do that. More attack and breakthrough, but you lose defense and HP. Ooh, 3% population immediately. This isn't bad either. We were going to get 20% more recovery rate anyways. But we're going to need that population immediately. Yeah, we definitely need it. So, um, you know what? Hurt our research speed a little bit. We could use more stability. 14% is not ideal. But if we could move just fast enough to get through here... I threw the industry back in there, dang it. Um, that'd be very good for us. But after that, we're going to probably do all those. We're going to be incorporating um, involuntary worker... Uh, 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 people... Enforcers... Uh, some involuntary worker labor. Uh, we do get some forced uh, labor. And then we're going to go to saving scientists, of course. Encouraging the sl slavers. Cutting into the slab trade. Reviews a lot of stability. My god. That's not really worth it for that much stability loss. Um, stealing tools. Stealing blueprints. A hub. We're dealing chems here. It's not too bad either. Stealing for the comp from the competition. Filling the stash. Pretty decent overall. Uh, but we're actually, we actually have vehicles, so I don't. I actually mind going this one. This is one of the rare nations about where we actually use vehicles, so... We're going to try to emphasize vehicles as much as we can. Oh, but we're trying to get down there, and actually, if that's the case, more defense is okay. Infantry equipment is still good to get. Um, as you can see, we already have chosen a few people here. We've chosen this guy from Army XP. We've chosen this guy as well for Richard Travis, if we can. I'm thinking we might just emphasize motorize a whole lot for our land auction. You know what? Might as well, right? Might as well. So let's go conventional warfare like I always do at this point. Thank you, sir. And we're preparing for total war. More recovery rate. Sure, why not? Enclosure. We're going to mobilize a whole bunch. And then... Actually, let's take a look see. So we're still fighting here. We're slow... Oh, we finally got there. Oh, we actually lost a lot of divisions right there. That's not smart. But we should be able to hold. And we're pushing through here, too. That's good. The guys will get back up to the line where they need to go. And you are going to go right there, which is good. Let's go right there. If you are fast enough, you can literally just cut all these divisions off. Nice. I want you. I want the infantry to attack. So this way, the motorized can do whatever it needs to do. Oh, I want you guys. Go right here. Defend. And go right there. And now you guys are over here. Defending. Go right here. Good, as long as we can move fast enough. Keep them in place. Keep them around. Oh, come on. The line infantry is not bad. Uh, I do like the soft attack as well. More dealing. Okay, political power. Oh, 
We're still not high enough. I want all that PP as much as possible. Let's see. Work as needed is good. Uh, we're gonna go with improvised tools. Still no manpower, but whatever. They're too busy to do anything really down there, so go down here too. Construction basics, even more construction stuff. As we're working on our land doctrine, which isn't good. And do they... You know, you might just go for this. You might just go for it. Keep these guys in place. Keep these guys in place. Infantry-wise, what are we doing? Mysterious Stranger? That's worth it. Do not let to leave or move. Get to Alexandria and... Hey, they're not very much, but we got them. Up next will be... The Patrolmen. Now, these guys might be a little more difficult. 40 days, not bad. We have no manpower. 3 to 6 divisions. We should actually be able to blow through these guys pretty easily. Um, we'll see, though. Because we have no manpower still, which is honestly pretty darn normal. Uh, we actually have enough guns for now. Um, 12. Never mind, we have 2, and now we have negative 4. Okay. Nice. And we could probably use Army General up here. Also, we'll probably have to defend against whoever wants to attack us later on. Division attack organization. Yeah, why not? Nice. And we don't have enough command power. Now we do! Alright, Henry Conrad, you got a fast shot. Strong, you're lucky. Stuff we like. Very nice. And. I'm gonna do all that stuff too. Also, we do want to get down into Bayou Motors quickly because I want a trade node. Most of the time in Old World Blues, you don't have a trade node, and it can eventually really hamper you, which really, really sucks. Uh, motorized, minus 26. Infantry equipment is not looking ideal. We probably want to get up to outside our auxiliaries, as well as outside our battalions eventually. Uh, Compliance-wise, 4%, 3%, not good at all. Oh my god. Mm, yeah, we just need more war support. We need more stability. We need just a lot of everything. But we made another infantry division. All right, well, you go low. And you go low, too. We have no manpower, but who cares? Go in. See where we can break through. Because these guys shouldn't take too long, and we're gonna go straight for Bayou Motors. 35 days, not bad. We should be able to bust through somewhere here. Somewhere here. Maybe over here. Maybe not. Oh, definitely over here. Nice. So grab at least one of these guys and go to Lafayette. Keep these guys in place. And then Moscow. As much as I want to grind out more army XP, we don't have the manpower for it right now. So. That is some real good army XP. Uh, right ah, wow, they have like nothing. Holy cow. So let me do this. And this time, I'm going to have you guys stationed like here. This way we can go bing, or to bong to bing. Hopefully it makes it a little easier for us, but you never know. Special forces are still needed and important. Nice. Bring slavers, 78%. Now we can go ahead and go to every cap for the army once we're back at war. But it's going to take some time for us to recuperate everything. We'll probably head north to Oklahoma. I want to avoid Texas for as long as possible because I want to take out the Carthaginians. But they're dead. No, I'll go that one too. Oh, Canada, very nice. Um, maybe Assassin City, but they do get taken over by Texas as well. So we might be kind of screwed here. Look, downtown. La Place Outpost. Sounds like a great place. All right, so what do these guys have here? Not many divisions. That's good. Incorporating slavers. We're going to go to war anyways because we want to razzle-dazzle. And a slab labor. I want you to beeline for it. The rest of you guys attack, but really the special forces are, well, they're not really special forces. They're special, all right. They're just not special forces. Keep all these guys in place. Um, I want to increase the division count, but Carthaginians. I have a feeling you're probably not going to attack anytime soon. I could be very wrong. Capitol Hill has fallen. Also, we are on ahistorical. Every time, almost every time I do these types of campaigns, it's on ahistorical, so... Come on. 
Can they pierce us? Ooh, they can. That's not good. Song from the front of you. I don't know about that. Please go ahead. More war support. Thank you. If that's the case, here. Save a tiny bit of manpower, a tiny bit of guns. Just as a very, very small amount. Um, you know what? We can do that anyways. Alright, can we go down here? Every cap for the army. Very nice. Build, build, build us up, please. And even though it's grinding us away, we're learning quite a bit. Which is good. We actually might be able to bust through here before we bust through here. Which is not ideal, but whatever. Come on, you threw in another division there. Yeah, we're definitely going to bust through here much more easily. And they are defeated there. These guys are going to take a while to take out. But that'll help this group right here. Wild one falls ill, so be it. How about supply then with endurance tests? Come on. There you go, nice. That's good. I'm just going to right here. And as soon as they're gone, we should be able to move fast enough. Take whatever we need in. More manpower, yes, please. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Keep these guys in place. I want you guys to get all the way down there. What working? Oh, god dang it. They do have divisions over there. But, you know what? If that's the case, we can at least destroy all these other divisions. Hopefully. Here, 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 here. It's a, it's a grind. But if these guys can't move. Well, we need more divisions up here anyways. Force, a little bit of forced labor. I love it. Uh, here, help them out. They're losing here slowly. We're winning everywhere else. So, you know, if that's the case, you know what, let's just hold you. Concentrate our forces with what, with what we're doing right now. You guys focus up here. You guys just hold the line. They get attacked. We should be fine. Still mobilizing more, of course. But what I want is to destroy each of these divisions first. So I don't understand how they're getting supply through here, but I guess they are. That makes literally no sense. So I think this is where we're going to be at. We're just going to be grinding through here, and it's going to take some time to get through here. But I think for the first episode, that's pretty good. Next up, we're going to take out Assassin City. And maybe we'll go to Oklahoma and then eventually fight the Texan Brotherhood. I think that would be the plan, but I think we might just end it there because it's going to take me quite a bit of time to build us up. So if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll see what else we can do with the Desperados. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.